Good morning. It's Sunday morning, and you can see we've got just a little bit of snow. Hey, about two or three feet, two or three feet, two or three inches. See my big old tree? I'm gonna have to get it cut. I hate to, cause the little coons loves the acorns, and my little squirrels plays in it. But it's leaning, terrible. And that worries me. But I need to get cut so in case Michael has to help him pull it, he can, because I can't pull trees. We've been through that a dozen times. It scares me to death. I'm afraid of pulling them too hard or not enough or pulling them over on top of a mirror. Look at my poor little butterfly bush this morning. It's pretty, but it'll probably break it off, I'd say. Let's see, it's all flopped over. But it's so pretty. I love snow. Chad's already been up here this morning getting the Zoe and Daisy's snow pants. They left them up here. So I was going to get their sleds so they can sled some this morning if they want to. But it's so pretty. There's their sled. They about went the bottom of them last year, uh, sliding down on the pavement down there. But they was going off that bank. I was having a good time. I tried to keep the snow on it, but it, it was impossible. So, and Gizmo, that big old cat of theirs, he'll ride on that. Let him, let him pull him. Let them pull him. I can't talk this morning. But it's so pretty. I'm gonna go down to Sawmill, see what all's going on down there. I love to track stuff in the snow. There's some tracks. I think it's that dog. He has had himself a time this morning. This is second snow he's seen, so he's all excited. It's just a winter wonderland today. I don't see no little squirrels this morning either. I'd say they're hid out somewhere. We've got to get some more sunflower seed for the little birds. I meant to tell Chad yesterday and I forgot all about it. I can't remember all this stuff. It's supposed to snow all day today. Tomorrow's Daisy's birthday. She'll be eight. Well, they're growing up fast. But they'll be down here sledding. They can sled down Chad's driveway. He's got his vehicles up at our house. So as long as they don't go through that fence. That worries me. But I didn't let Skits out. He's already been out once this morning. He didn't care much about it, I don't think. But he gets really, really cruddy and then comes in. Gets water everywhere, so. And I don't see a track nowhere. There ain't nothing been out this morning. I guess everything's a sleeping in. I can't blame him. There's a little tree that's tops broke out of it. A little pine. I'd say there'll be a lot of them. I, I was afraid we couldn't have breakfast this morning. I was going to fix pork chops, biscuits, and gravy. And I told Michael if pears out, we'd fix them. I'd had to fix toast. I can fix it on the stove, though, because my stove, the top of it comes off. And I fry pork chops or whatever, like anything I want to cook anything. I like cornbread cooked on top of the stove or baked on top of the stove. It's really good. It tastes a whole lot different than when it's in the stove. But the power was on, so I fixed pork chops, biscuits, and gravy. And he said he could taste it because he's not been able to. He'll start eating and then his taste will leave, and that aggravates him. But. I guess that's just part of it. 
But I reckon if he, when he quits chemo, he'll all come back, I hope, and stay back, you know. But he had to do that CT scan Friday. I hope that turns out good. We've got to go tomorrow or Tuesday and to the doctor. I hope we, I hope it's pretty to where we can go. I mean, clear it off enough. I'd hate to have make it up for the doctor not be there, but I'd say they'll call if, it, if that ha was to happen. But I know he's worried about that because I am. But it'd have to be working because he's. PSA score come down or whatever numbers so it have to happen a little bit I would think so but there ain't nothing down there here no tracks it's really really quiet I'm glad we got that shed big prop back up. We hadn't it have been on the ground this morning. That worries me about the roof of my old house, but I reckon it'll be all right. Because it's not really deep, but uh, there's ice all night last night. I could hear it. So. It looks really, really cold out here. There's my little goose. I brought him down here pressure washing. Cause I was gonna get Chad to paint him. He looks cold this morning. He's gotta be painted. Ah, look coming here. Hey Gizmo. Hey Gizmo. What you doing? Gizmo. He's so sweet. And Figgy, the orange cat, he's clawed on the door and everything else this morning. I want me in. I usually don't let him in, but I sort of snuck him in. He's up our Michael right now. So. <laughs> and I left, so I don't know how that's going to work out. <laughs> but I guess it'll be all right if it ain't he'll turn him out. And poor little Oliver, he has to stay in bad. He's old. I feel sorry for him. Bless his heart. He's a good cat. There's our logs. I gotta get sawed next week, hopefully. I got them washed. And Gizmo, get up. That'd be some good sawing. We was going to saw Friday and we got out of the doctor's office, I guess about 9.30. And he felt good and then I, he got started feeling bad. I, I told him just to forget about it. We'd get it next week. And people was wanting their stuff, but I've explained to everybody we'll get it when we can. If You know, if they can't wait, they'll just have to get it somewhere else because he can't saw and him feeling really bad. I can't believe they ain't a sign of nothing down here. I love to get out in the snow. I fall one of these mud holes this morning. I can't see where they're at. And there's the lumber. It's all covered up. Poor chipper. Everything else looks good. I'm going to clean the porch off when I get back up to the house. I say they something other than under this floor. It's got a good warm place to stay. I'd say it's all just to be warm. I don't even see no tracks down there now. Oh, well. Hey, Gizmo. <laughs> He's a little sweetheart. He comes in of a night when them young'uns comes up to the house. 
and he'll sometimes he'll sneak off and go in there and lay on my bed. And then I have to put him out. He don't like that. I feed all this stuff and then they take up at the house. I swear every time we get in something else, I'm not going to do that, but I can't help it. I like to see stuff eat. I like to see people eat. And we eat too much. But Michael's been eating a pretty good bit. I was afraid his appetite stayed gone, but I'm glad it didn't. Now, see Rudy, I guess he ain't gonna come back. I've heard him, but I I guess he figures he just go somewhere else. That'd be a good place for him if he'd just stay there, but he won't. I've got to plane some stuff. That man said he probably be after it next week, but he's just gonna have to wait or he he can help me plane it. He's just a good somebody. I really like him. I hear a tree fall right then. It wasn't on us. As long as it ain't on the house or somebody else's house, we'll be all right. I'd say there'll be a lot of them breaking today. Because that ice. Sawdust pile. We ain't got much sawdust. What we have that's covered up. It's just a pretty morning this morning. So. Come on, Gizmo. I doubt Chad will be able to go work tomorrow. I don't know. I think it's down in Greenville, too. A lot of these places had a foot. We might have about four or five inches. I don't know if it's deeper than I thought it was when I got out here. I got out this morning, went out in the garage and fed my cats. Cleaned the porch off a little. I'm going to clean the rest of it off when I get back up to the house. But my poor loader, it looks cold. Well, I'm going back up to house, going to clean the porch off, and I guess do nothing. I need to clean the house up, I guess. Today would be a good day to do it, but I'm not wild about cleaning the house up. But it has to be done sometimes, so I hope everybody has a good day. Talk to you later. Bye. Our Zoe and Daisy and Chad are sledding this morning. That dog is having himself a time. I can't zoom in on this thing. He showed me how, but you know how that works. It don't exactly work for me, I don't know. I guess I'll just have to go up there. Now, if I could teach that dog to drag a sled back up the house, that'd be neat. <laughs> he, he bites Daisy. Well, he bites everybody, but he don't, you know, he just nips at you. He don't really bite. But his teeth is sharp. They need to be down there in Chad's driveway, but I guess he's afraid of them running into the fence. There goes Zoe. <laughs> she run over my bench. <laughs> They'll have a good time today because it's supposed to snow all day. Go on. Get off. He has a good time. So. <laughs> He worries everybody to death. He worries that poor little old cat to death. <laughs> Leave him alone. He about knocks me down. 
him and Skits was playing the other day. And he come running by me and just run over top of me. Leave him alone, he's gonna scratch your eyes out. But they're having a good time. I'm gonna go clean the porch off. There's my oak tree that I'm gonna have to get cut. See, it's lent towards the garage. And I hate to cut it because all the acorns and stuff and the squirrels, but if that was to fall on something, that'd be the end of it. And I sure don't want to fall on the house. But it's a white oak. I reckon they got good roots and stuff, and it, you know. But there's other trees around that made it grow. If it was straight up and down, I wouldn't think about cutting it. But if I can just get on the ground, I can, I can deal with the rest of it. So. But I said I need to cut it for two or three years, and it ain't got cut yet, but it's going to have to be.